We're here with Hypnosis, and you've got a fourth album coming out, and why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, first and foremost, thanks for having us today, Bill. Um, we're really excited. We've got our fourth album coming out. A uh, lot different than what it's been in the past. I think that we've all evolved in such a way, and everybody's put in their two cents for it, so I think it's going to be a terrific album. Now, tell us about some of the new tracks. Obviously, you've had some uh, different writing styles in the past, but this record has uh, some, some great tracks from, from a couple of different band members. This particular album, I believe, was more collaborative than anything we've done in the past. I, I only wrote two songs on this, this particular tr um, album, but with a lot of help from everybody around me. So I want to talk about the first track on the album. It's called Big Girl Now, and Dave wrote that. I'll let, we'll each speak a little bit about that track and, and how it came to fruition. So, Dave. Well, Big Girl Now is one of the very few tracks that uh, I've written that was written specifically for Heather to sing. And it's the story of uh, girl empowerment, uh, taking charge of a relationship. And uh, I think that the fun that, that Heather had with it really shows up on this track. It's the, one of the most rocking tracks I've written. And uh, one other thing I want to say about it is John really came up with a great drum part that was much different than my demo and really kicked it into high gear. So I appreciate that, John. Yeah. And of course, the, the track really has a, a driving sound, and it, it's a great first track as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm good with that. Let's talk about the next track. Another track, the, um, one of the ones that really ring true to me is a song I wrote maybe in 2011, coming out of kind of a dark time, but I wrote a song called Therapy. I think a lot of people can relate to it. Um, without Melvin... I wouldn't have been able to complete that track. I had these great verses and this great feel and everybody can connect to it. But until we were in the studio one day and I'm like, you gotta help me, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. And all of a sudden one of those things click. And it clicked and thank you for that. Now it's, it's one of the best songs on the record, I think. Anything about therapy? Well, how it happens is we're just hanging around having a good time, you know, and and playing stuff and throwing ideas around and yeah she had this idea but it didn't have real it needed some other part so what was the it's part like I feel I go, you feel so low yeah that and yeah, then the other part good. after that so I just you know helped her out with the song and that's my job here is just try to help out, help these guys out, you know, with the record and... Your part kind of got a roll on too, you know, so... That's yeah, it. yeah, got a roll on. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me a little bit about Magic Land, because that's... Uh, okay, a, a, a I'm going to let Kurt Kaufman talk about this one. I will say, when he first told me the name of the song, I put my head down in my lap and I said, don't make me sing that. But over time, it's really come to be one of my favorite songs. So let's talk to Kirk a little bit, how he came across that and, and wrote that song. Um, well, <clears throat> I was just trying to do something up-tempo. And uh, there's a bunch of songs out that that I was kind of thinking about, you know. the uh, I can't even think of the bands. But it has a little bit, you wouldn't call it ABBA or something like that, but it's sort of a... Uh, fantasy ride to somewhere and uh, uh, it's definitely up tempo we'll put it that way and it's and I didn't really have the, the magic land hook until the very last line that I had to rhyme and uh, when I here in magic land <laughs> I was thinking oh no is this it but uh, <laughs> it it created a a magical little thing you know and it's definitely fun to do so and, and you know if we could just maybe pick one more track off the album that you would like to well, we just, really talk you know, about we just did a couple mixes on beautiful and that song's really turning out it's one of my favorites on the record and what's the other one that we were just talking about that was, oh, was no? no your song piano oh. and vocals oh um love shines love shines it's a great okay. song and Dave just described how he 
uh, kind of took the idea of what was a Beatles song? Fool on the Hill. Fool on the Hill, how you never sing the same note. Here, I'll let you talk to Dave. This is a song that's actually not on the album, but will be released by Hypnosis at some point. It's called Love Shines in Your Eyes, and it's a, uh, a ballad that was written with the uh, concept of the old Beatles tune, Fool on the Hill, off the Magical Mystery Tour album. The uh, concept was to write a melody that never repeats itself all the way through the song, and... Uh, I think we achieved that, and Heather's vocal is just incredible on it. And I thank you. Sure, John's been amazing as far as coming up with those parts. That I'm not a drummer. We're not drummers. That most drummers wouldn't come up with. They just play like a straight beat, and he comes up with these inventive, creative parts to really help it be, uh, become a, uh, more original pieces. Absolutely. John, I'd like you to talk a little bit about with your experience with hypnosis and, yeah. and what you have to bring to the place because like it's it. good. And just keep right. talking good. <laughs> keep talking good. <laughs> but these guys are a lot of fun to work with. That, that's a fact. <laughs> as far as the drum parts go, no, like Magic Land, it, it just sounded like it needed a cheap trick beat behind it. It's nowhere in my <laughs> That's right. Oh, by the way, uh, make sure you have all your cell phones off before we start uh, rolling. But anyways. Actually, this is so us. This is great. <laughs> It'll end in a moment. Come back, John. Come back. Yeah, the whole way this band basically operates is basically we just get, get together and have a good time. It's kind of like we're not... Well, we take Whoa! It very serious. Yeah, serious. yeah, but we—it's a—it's a good time in the process. It isn't like, oh, we got to think of something. It's like, you know, we have a good time and we have fun with it as it's being built, and that's kind of how most of this stuff is done, you know. Now, what track is the chicken? By the way, <laughs> back to what John was saying. <laughs> that's right. No, there is no chicken track. Okay. <laughs> No, that would be time to pick up my daughter from school. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, just to wrap things up here, um, when the album is released, which will be very soon, how can uh, listeners find it? How can they get their copy to listen to? It'll be available on CD Baby. Um, you can I either digitally download or you can get the actual physical copy because not a lot of bands nowadays do can afford to pr put them to print but we we feel strong about that so there will be physical copies and digital copy distribution okay thank you very much hypnosis good thank luck you. with the new album thank you bill